Hack looking ahead then to, to Saturday afternoon and obviously the visit of Hashtag United, a break from league action, uh, obviously in the FA Trophy. What are your thoughts heading into this one? Yeah, obviously, we, we want to bounce back after what happened there on Saturday. We didn't really get going in the first half and in the second half with 10 men we did. I think the draw would have been a fair result, um, but we played better in the second half. It wasn't to be. But we want to pursue this competition and go as far as we can. So, yeah, looking forward to it against a team that we know how they play. Got some good players. So it'll be an interesting afternoon, but hopefully we can uh, give something for the supporters to be happy about. Obviously, then, how important is it to bounce back from obviously two home losses in a row? And yeah, it never happened to me here, to be honest. Um, obviously, the first one was, was in the Velocity Cup. And we put a, a, a squad of players that really haven't played a lot of minutes. And Saturday was a bit of a disappointment, anti-climax. I thought we couldn't get to groups with the way they did things in the first half. But in the second half with 10 men, I thought we were a good value. We were better and their goalkeeper made two or three good saves and kept them in the game. If I'm being totally honest, you know, he did keep them in the game as well. And first half, we hit the post and run a play. So I think a result should have been a draw, would have been a fair result for us, especially with 10 men. The man in the middle had to play his part. I think he was a little bit... Um, trigger happy to be honest and there was nothing in it there was no malice at all from both teams and I think that was also a deciding factor on how things went obviously you mentioned the referee obviously JB suffered a red card off the last which means he's unavailable uh, on Saturday how big a loss is he's defending well, going to be and his leadership you know we're, we're going to have to get someone to step in no way in a million years was the first one a bookie no way in a million years and the second one maybe he got turned and he, it was but it's ridiculous, really. He was like trigger happy for both teams, not just us, for both teams. So we're going to miss him. He's been, he's been influential. But obviously, it gives someone else an opportunity, and we'll be ready. And obviously, boosted by the return of Sam German potentially as well. How excited are you to see him hopefully yeah, step back? Sam out, was our out. best player before he got injured, wasn't he? You know, his enthusiasm, his desert, determination, his de desire to do well. You know, he, he, he leads by the way he plays, by example, doesn't hold back. And, and we had missed him for a little while. And it's good to be getting him back, you know. We'll see if he's going to start or not. We'll see if, if I make that decision. But, you know, he's given the place, the whole place a buzz, him being back. Young kid, but plays like a man. And obviously then, looking specifically at Hashtag, what are you expecting them to bring to, to Tony Neal on Saturday? Tough, good team, you know. Um, some good players, we know they play with wingers, got exciting players going forward. For us, you know, sometimes I say to our players, you know, if we train the way we play, no one can beat us. And I watched training again tonight, and it was excellent. All week's been excellent. And you know, I always say this, so our supporters are aware of this as well. You know, when we play teams here, especially the other team, always, always raises their game. And you know, the big crowd, great stadium, great atmosphere. So we've got to match all them expectations and go again, and we will. We will. We'll be fine. Hey, man, we'll leave it there. We'll catch up Saturday. Thank you.